Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Suzette beanie, which you can see here in front of you. This is a super quick crochet beanie to make. This is for an adult size. It uh, has no slouch to it. It's snug fitting. Uh, you can wear it with a pom-pom or without, as I'm showing you here. So it's very easy, very quick to work, made with a super bulky weight yarn. Shown here, it's in the color emerald, and I'm using the softy, chunky um, Bernat yarn by Yarn Inspirations. You only need one ball of yarn to complete this hat, and you won't even use the whole ball. There is approximately 100 yards per ball. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter or an N15 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. There are many other crochet beanie patterns here on my channel. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Our binny today is worked from the brim up and it's going to fit an adult size um, about a 21 to 22 inch circumference. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, your foundation chain will need to be an even number of chains, so multiple of two. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working our foundation chain and your foundation chain for the adult size will need to be 42 chains. And 42. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to, uh, being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I like to work into the back bumps of my stitches, but that's totally up to you. Once you've joined, with a slip stitch in your first stitch, you're ready to begin round one. For round one, we're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 42 single crochet stitches at the end of round one. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and turn your work. You will be turning at the end of each round for this beanie pattern. For round two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the same stitch as joining and a double crochet stitch, both into the same stitch. You're then going to skip the next stitch into the next, work a single crochet stitch and a double crochet stitch into your next stitch. Skip the next stitch and repeat single crochet and double crochet. You're going to repeat this all the way around. When you come all the way around at the end of round two, you're going to skip the final stitch and join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. Chain one, and turn your work. Now for each of the next six rounds, so this is rounds three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, you're going to repeat that round two. 
So you're going to single crochet into your same stitches joining, which is your single crochet stitch, and then followed by a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, which is a double crochet stitch, and into the next single crochet, work a single crochet and a double crochet. Repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, turn, and repeat. So you want to work two, six more rounds of round two. This will bring you to the end of round eight, and then you're going to meet me back here. At the end of round eight, you're going to chain one, turn your work. We're actually going to work one more round of a repeat of round two. So single crochet into that same stitches joining, double crochet, skip the next double crochet and into your single crochet, work a single crochet and double crochet. So for round nine, repeat once more round two and then meet me back here and then we will start the decrease for the top of our hat. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. We're now set to begin the decrease rounds for our beanie. So for round 10, we're going to begin by in the first stitch, the same stitches joining into the single crochet, work a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and into your next single crochet, work a single crochet and double crochet. Skip the next stitch and into your next single crochet stitch, you're simply going to work a single crochet, no double crochet. You're then going to repeat. Skip the next stitch, into your next single crochet, work a single crochet stitch, followed by a double crochet skip the next stitch, work a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch, then skip the next stitch and simply work one single crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 10, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one and turn. For round 11, into the same stitches joining, you're going to work a single crochet followed by a double crochet. You're then going to skip the next stitch and into your next stitch, work a single crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch, into your next stitch, work a single crochet, followed by a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, and into your next, work a single crochet. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Skip the next stitch, into your next stitch, work a single crochet, followed by a double crochet, skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. All the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. At the end of round 11, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 12, we're going to single crochet into the same single crochet that we joined in, followed by a double crochet. You're then going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Just as you did for round 11, we're going to repeat that, skip the next stitch 
into your next stitch single crochet and double crochet skip the next stitch and single crochet into your next you're going to repeat this all the way around skip the next stitch single crochet and double crochet into your next stitch skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next At the end of round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 13, we're going to once again repeat our round 12 uh, and 11. So we're going to single crochet into the same single crochet as joining, and work also work a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into your next. Skip the next stitch into your next stitch, single crochet and double crochet. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 13, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. We have one round remaining. We're going to chain one and turn our work. We're now going to work double crochet two stitches together all the way around, beginning with our first two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitches joining yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, all the loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that in each stitch all the way around. So double crochet two together over the next two stitches, all the way around. When you come all the way around, you're going to, I guess I still have one more stitch left here. I'll finish this one stitch. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and then fasten off, leaving a long tail. You're then going to take a yarn needle and thread the long tail through it and you're going to use it to sew the top of your hat closed. What I did was I took my yarn needle and I wove it in and out through the top round of stitches all the way around just through the tops of the stitch. all the way around when you come all the way around I'm almost there There we are. You're going to turn your beanie 
inside out just briefly. So stick your needle out through that hole, pull it up through, and you're going to simply pull the top of the hat closed using that long tail. Pull it all the way closed. Once you have closed it, you're going to then fasten off. I do like to work a little bit of a knot here on the inside at the top of the hat to keep it a little bit more secure before weaving in my ends. can then fasten off, tuck in any other tails that you might have there, then turn your beanie right side out. And that is how you work your Suzette beanie. You can then add a pom-pom to the top if you'd like. There's a fun blue one. Uh, it's really up to you or you can leave it plain as is. And that's your Suzette Beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.